Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. In today's video, I would like to share with you a detailed review of a piece of gear that I use for trail running and ultra trail running, the Camelback Apex Pro 12 liter pack. This pack has been with me everywhere in Thailand, in the mountains of uh, Doin Thanon by UTMB. It has accompanied me in so many training sessions and last but not least, this pack has been 100 mile tested by me during Istia 100 miles. This video is in collaboration with Camelback. They gave me this pack. In this video, I would like to share with you some of the highlights of this pack, why I chose to say yes to use it for these races and why I'm gonna keep on using it for the next races. So first off, this is a 12 liter pack. It is a very roomy pack. I am 190 centimeters and I use size M. So size S, I tried it on, it was too small and L was of course extremely big. This size M fits me okay when it is completely full. So when it is in ultra mode, so let's say when you're going to do an ultra, it fits me perfectly. When it is empty, like during train sessions, sometimes it feels a little bit roomy, but I think size M is the way to go. For ultras, having a roomy pack is absolutely fundamental. And being that this is a 12 liter, it can carry all of your mandatory gear, especially if you're thinking about tackling some UTMB events, which require really a lot of gear. I think a 12 liter is the minimum. Like I can barely fit in everything that I need, especially for Istria with jackets, long pants in here. And it has this really useful opening, which is diagonal. This is made so that you can go to mandatory gear check and just open it up and you can at a glance see everything and it works really well. Inside the main compartment, we have another mesh pocket where you can put stuff that you might not need that often. For instance, I use it to put in my uh, first aid kit. And then out here, I will put my jacket and all that stuff. Here we have a reflective print. And up top here, we have a smaller pocket with a waterproof zip uh, where we, I usually put my electronics like a power bank or like my passport and stuff that I need to keep dry. I will put it in the top pocket. This pack also has Reco technology and Reco technology is something that search and rescue teams use to find you if you get lost. And this is built into the backpack so you don't need a phone to use it. Then behind the main pocket, so out here we have the main pocket, behind the main pocket we have a mesh opening here where you can put your water bladder which then can come out from here. Personally I don't really use water bladders that much but I have used them a couple of times during training sessions and this works perfectly. Still staying on the back, the one thing that I would like to share is that this pack has a quiver system. So it has a quiver where you can put your poles. And for me, during ultras, having poles is absolutely fundamental. I mean, if they are allowed, I will always use them because they give a quite a bit of an advantage on the uphills. So for me, this was absolutely paramount. I needed a pack with a quiver system. And in this case, the quiver system works perfectly. You can swap it out from one shoulder to the other one. It's light and it keeps my poles and it works pretty well. The only thing that I noticed is that it might be a little bit wide, the opening, so the poles might tend to move a little bit inside. So I personally close it up like this. You can see that from back here, I hook this up to one of the closures, one of the elastic closures up here. And this makes it so that I can tighten it and widen it. And, and the poles are always really, really snug. So when you're running, you don't even feel them that much. But yeah, quiver system is absolutely fundamental for me for ultras. I highly recommend if you have the opportunity to try running poles, they really, really are a game changer, especially with a lot of elevation and stuff like that. Coming to the front, we have of course space for two flasks, one on the right and one on the left, a whistle here, elastics to always put everything together. And then we have these big pockets and I love these pockets. These pockets are really big. We have one with the zip out here where I put stuff that I don't really need to access that often. Even here might be a power bank or might be some gels that I need for later in the race. And then we have these big pockets which are structured this way. We have an, a sort of like an inside pocket here with mesh. And then we have this big pocket here where we can just stash stuff. And these can carry really a lot of stuff. I fill them up like crazy. And this fact that you can divide the pocket, I find to be really useful. We have this on both sides, both sides are the same. In the back here, we have two pockets where we can put stash stuff and they go from one side to the other. This is fairly classic, like many trail backpacks have this. And you have a little bit of adjusting possibility here. And as you can see, I tighten this quite a lot. I will tighten this up in training. Gives you a nice way to adjust the size even without having some buckles that you can tie up. As far as the closure goes, we have a pretty standard two clip closure here in front that you can adjust really easily. It has a space here to keep the hose from the camelback. And these you can swap from one side to the other, of course, and you can put them however high or low you want them and you can swap them from one side to the other. So what was it like to train and race with the Camelback Apex Pro? Well, my personal experience has been great with it. I really like it. 
I really like the way it fits and I really like the way you can customize almost everything, starting from the closing in the front. And you have a lot of elastics with which you can really dial in the fit of this backpack. The other thing that really struck me compared to other backpacks that I've used is how much stuff you can carry, even too much, to be honest. Like sometimes I just really filled it up too much because I was always like, I should carry this, I'll put this in. So yeah, it's really extremely roomy. There's always a lot of stuff to carry, like for instance, power banks, cables, maybe a couple of cameras. So the Apex Pro worked great for that. I would define it as absolutely as a very roomy backpack. The other big highlight for me was the quiver system. The quiver system works really well and you can really dial in the closure so that the poles don't bounce around, which is something that I absolutely hate. So with this quiver system, I found that when I needed to pull out the poles, it's super easy. But when I was, for instance, on flat or downhill and I needed to run as if I didn't have the poles with me, it just feels like you don't have them with you. And this system of closure that I devise, I haven't really seen it used by other people. I always see their poles like bouncing up and down. And so definitely the quiver system is a big highlight for me of the Apex Pro. So overall, my experience with the Apex Pro was absolutely great. During every race, it worked perfectly and really helped me to carry all my essentials while at the same time being fast, both as in the fit feels really snug and perfect. You really don't really realize that it's there. And also it really has a lot of quick accessible pockets where you can get stuff on the go. And I always found that to be a real help when you're running uphill, downhill, in mountains, you really need to know where your stuff is. You need to be able to access it really quickly. So definitely a lot of options for that, that work really well. The pack weight comes in at 353 grams in the M size, which personally I found to be fairly light. And who would I recommend this pack to? I would recommend this pack to anyone who is taking on an ultra from 50K up. So for shorter distances, I think you can really get away with even just a belt or a small pack. But if you're gonna tackle 50K, but especially like 100K, or 120k, 100 miles, I would definitely recommend a pack like the Camelback Apex Pro 12 liter because you can carry a lot of stuff, you can carry your poles and the fit is comfortable even for such a long period of time. If you can, definitely, I would try this on live to understand exactly what size you need and to see if this pack meets your requirements. So like what you need to race. That being said, let me show you a little bit how I set it up. Okay, so here we have the pack. So first things first, in this back pocket, I would put all the gear that I do not need access to. So for instance, the emergency blanket, first aid kit, and then let's say jacket or whatever else I need. So this would go in the back, just for demonstration purposes, let's close this up. And then what I would do is I would put this on, this main closure, second closure, as you can see, fits all oh, really snug. So one flask on the left, one flask on the right, of course. And usually this is all I take. I don't really use the big bladder. I usually just take these two and it, it's fine. Most races now require you to have one of these reusable cups. And this I would put in one of these pockets back here together with nutrition and gels. Gels, I will keep them in various different places. Starting out from here, I might divide, I might use these pockets to divide caffeine gels from non-caffeinated gels. Like I might have the non-caffeinated gels outside and the caffeinated gels inside here, inside this mesh pocket. And this way I know that if I'm reaching for the inside pocket, I will have the caffeinated one. If I'm reaching for the outside one, I will have the normal one. Other thing I will do is I will put in this pocket uh, like precious stuff. So I might put, let's say a power bank, some of these power banks, really small ones, I'll put it in here. And then of course the poles. So here we have my running pole. Here we see that, it, that the quiver is closed and this I'll show you because it really works great. So I'll put the poles in like that. As you can see, they're already fairly snug. But what I do to make them even more snug is first off here, we have some adjustments. So I'll pull this when they're already inside. And then we have this, which is the adjustment for the quiver. I will first off put it on the poles like this. So they're really locked in place. And then I will pull this and bam, that's it. And these are completely, these will not move for whatever you're doing. It really feels like you don't have them. You can adjust this as you want. You can even put it like more on the side or one on the one in the middle. And really these guys, they won't move. They won't move at all. And yeah, I really love this quiver setup. It is absolutely amazing and I recommend you check it out. There's also space here to attach your running poles in the front, something that I don't do, but I think it's nice to have the option, but I find the quiver system to be a lot better for the poles. The phone, I don't really put it in my pack. I usually wear a running belt, so I'll put it in the running belt. And yeah, I think that concludes basically my, let's say review, my test of this pack. I've tested it really extensively. I think I've ran, I don't know, 2,000, 3,000 kilometers with this on and I absolutely love it. So yeah, that was my review and test of the Camelback Apex Pro 
running vest, 100K and 100 mile tested. I love it. Let me know if you have any questions about it or even if you have any questions about choosing a running pack for trail running and ultra trail because it is not easy. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.